Hey folks, today I'm diving into a piece of aviation history that's as intriguing as it is bittersweet, the untold story of why the UK never made another Harrier jet. The Harrier jet, also known as the jump jet, was a groundbreaking piece of engineering. It could take off and land vertically, making it a, a versatile tool for the British military. So why did the UK stop producing such an innovative aircraft? First off, let's talk economics. The Cold War was over, and with it, the immediate threat that had justified massive defense budgets. Keeping the Harrier in the skies was expensive, really expensive. Maintenance, upgrades, and operational costs were skyrocketing. The UK government decided to shift focus towards more cost-effective solutions. Then, there was technological evolution. Newer aircraft, like the F-35 Lightning II, developed in collaboration with international partners, promised to outdo the Harrier in almost every aspect. With stealth capabilities, advanced avionics and multi-role versatility, the F-35 seemed like a no-brainer replacement. Politics also played a crucial role. The British defence industry was undergoing significant restructuring. There was a push towards international cooperation and joint ventures, which meant fewer homegrown projects like the Harrier. The political climate favoured innovation through collaboration over national pride. Another factor was the Sea Harrier incident in 2006. The tragic crash during a routine exercise raised serious questions about the ageing fleet's safety and reliability. Public and political pressure mounted, making it harder to justify continuing the Harrier programme. Lastly, let's not forget the sentimental impact. The Harrier was an icon, one that many in the aviation community still hold dear. Its end marked the close of an era, but it paved the way for future advancements. So, while the UK may never build another Harrier, its legacy lives on. It's a reminder of a time when innovation met necessity, creating a machine that could leap into the air like no other. Thanks for joining me on this journey through aviation history. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the skies. Until next time, keep your eyes on the horizon.